Hey, it's me Jeremy and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be performing and teaching you how to cheat at playing cards. <laughs> A little disclaimer here, I do not educate or encourage anybody to gamble. Um, and this is purely for entertainment purposes only, okay? So if you're ready, let's go. The first things first, uh, what are the four cards that uh, you like to see in your hand? Any four of a kind. Naturally, it will be the aces, correct? And we're going to remove um, the four aces and I'll show you in a form of a demonstration how everything works, okay? So, we have ace number one, ace number two, ace number three, and ace number four. Here we go. Great. So, all you need is the uh, four aces and I'm going to teach you a method which um, gamblers or card cheats call as um, stacking the deck. Okay, stacking the deck simply means to position the cards that you want in specific um, locations or positions, right? Um, and you do that with a very simple way of shuffling cards called the overhand shuffle. Overhand shuffle looks like this. That's it, okay? You have to shuffle the cards one by one, okay? Which is why it's now not commonly used in uh, most card games, but <laughs> for demonstration purposes, this is what we're going to use, okay? And um, to stack the deck, actually any three of a kind would be good enough, okay? All you have to do is just take the three cards and three aces and place them on top, and then the last ace on the bottom, okay? That's it. And now you have to follow the steps. Say, for example, you're playing with uh, four players and myself, total of five people, okay? Um, the idea is this, there's a little formula that you have to follow. The formula is this, the first shuffle, okay, is 11. How did we come up with the number 11? Very simple, number of total players multiplied by 2 plus 1, okay? That will give you 11. 5 times 2 plus 1 is... 11 okay and so you shuffle 11 cards 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 simple as that okay and then followed by 4 okay the number of players excluding yourself so 1 2 3 4 okay and then the total number of players which is 5 1 2 3 4 5 1 for the dealer and then five more. One, two, three, four, five. Simple as that, okay? And you are almost done. I say almost because now the most difficult thing here is now that you have to cut the deck, okay? And you have to cut exactly on the 32nd position. Something like this. Complete the cut and you're done. Now, if I were to deal the cards out, you will see exactly what will happen, okay? So one, two, three, four, and yourself, that's two. Three, four, and five. Okay. So now, if you watch carefully on this side, we have the two of diamonds, which is the odd card, followed by, of course, the four aces. Simple as that. Okay. <laughs> but this method of um, cheating is not as good. I mean, of course, if you are playing local games like Tai Chi and, and stuff like that, you'll be good because, you know, you can have four, three or four twos, that way you will win the game or higher chance of winning the game. But if you are playing um, poker of any kind, this is no good because, you know, the other players won't have good enough cards, right? As you can see, there are, you know, a pair of fours here and all that. So they might not be good enough. <coughs> So in order to in order to win in a game like this, what we need to do is this, okay? We need to also shuffle the cards or cheat while shuffling the cards and give other players a good hand. Okay, which I'll what I'll try and attempt to do, alright? So what I'll do is this, I'll try and give um, not everybody, I don't think I can do it in such a short period of time, but I'll try and um, stack the deck so that at least three or four players will have good hands and hopefully I'll have the four aces, okay? So, I will try my best. Um, I will look at you and talk to you as much as I can as though we are having a, a, a game of cards, okay? And I'll shuffle the cards while looking at you and trying to rearrange the cards so that, you know, I can have them in good positions and exactly what people want, okay? 
one more shuffle and a cut and I think we are good to go. <laughs> So now if we deal the cards out again, 1, 2, 3, 4, and myself, that's number 2, 3, 4, and 5. Okay, so let's take a look at the cards. Um, I managed to deal only 3 good hands. Okay, the first hand, this one, I dealt him um, a flush draw in diamonds. Okay, a flush draw in diamonds. As you can see here, we have the 5. 379 of diamonds. The second person, I dealt him two pair, okay, two tens and uh, two queens, if I remember correctly. There we go, two tens and two queens, all right. And then the next one, I dealt him a very good hand, I dealt him a four of a kind of eights, okay. That way, you know, these three will definitely stay in their hand, okay, will stay in the, the game. This one, not much, I only dealt him a pair of jacks, okay, I didn't have. I wasn't lucky enough to see all the cards, but it's good enough, okay, it's good enough. And for myself, I have the Four of Diamonds. Pretty good for a start, okay. <laughs> so let's take a look. Now, if you're playing straight or draw poker, this is what this is what you will, you will go through. You can discard up to three playing cards, as in exchange them for another one, okay? So for player number one, this is what you, what will you do? Think about it. You have four diamonds here. Naturally, you will discard the nine of um, clubs, okay? And you will get dealt one more card. You exchange one card for another. And I've arranged it so that it is this, the king of diamonds. So you complete his flush, okay? He's definitely now going to stay in the game. Now for this person who has two pairs, it's pretty good, but obviously they want to improve their hand and therefore this person will remove the three and will be dealt one more card. And this card would be the queen. That way completing the full house, uh, queens over tens. This person um, has four of a kind, so naturally they wouldn't, okay? They wouldn't want to um, change any card you know and uh, the last person a pair of jacks and like i said earlier you know you can actually change up to three cards so most likely this person will change up to three cards and we go oh wait that's one ace two and three aces uh, <laughs> therefore completing his hand uh, full house aces over jacks Okay, so um, so now you know these four players will not, you know, step out of the game. They'll be, you know, going all in and raising each other and re-raising each other as well. And I have the uh, four of diamonds, which naturally I will discard. And I need one more card. And uh, this one, let's see. Ah, the Ace of Spades. Which is a pretty good card if you think about it, because that is the only Ace that I need to complete my hand, the 10 the jack, the queen, the king, and of course the ace of spades, giving myself the royal flush in spades. <laughs> well, thank you so much. That was a little quick little gambling demonstration. I hope you enjoy it. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. For now, you guys, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye! Bye.